hey guys welcome to my channel today i will be showing you how i do my weave or wig right here i have the beckett um rouge that i purchased and this here is $15.99 um it came with um four bundles and a closure okay so as you can see here this is the um the hair So now you need scissors, you need your dome cap, and also your pump it up. And also your glue, which is the main thing, guys. So now this is the closure that I have on my hand. I'm trying to position it on the dome cap to give me a guide on where I should place the, the chalk. And, you know, to position the... um the chalk so that i can put the glue on the dome cap so that is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to pin the t-pin on the dome cap it's kind of slightly by looking at it now while i'm doing the voiceover it kind of slightly uh not positioned the right way but when i was doing it i didn't see that way but it's okay you know mistake is always made when doing something so yeah so as you can see i'm gonna do that all around it's like a u part um closure this that's what this is you know once i take the um the closure off you will see the u shape on the dome cap basically that's what i'm doing to guide so this is like a big enough friendly kind of Thing that I'm doing like I'm giving like more detail on basically how to do a closure on a dunk cap how to glue it on that's what I'm doing so now I'm gonna spray my pump it up on a dump cap it kind of like take off the the chalk on the U part but it's okay oops now i'm adding on the glue on a dumb cap to actually attach the closure to the um the dumb cap okay so just watch and let me be quiet for a minute so i'm just gonna press it down and put the t-pin on there yeah And this is the other side as well. Just press it down firmly. And you will be just fine. Now I'm going to spray my pump it up to just give it an extra hole. Okay. So now I'm going to spray it again on a dome cap. And then I'm going to use the 20 inch and then the 18 and then the 16 then the 14 so that's where right now i'm just gonna put the glue all over and just attach my you know my um 20 inch um bundle Yes, I'm going to be doing the same thing right here. Yep. So let me think, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Did I do good? You know, so again, like I said, this channel is a learning process. Yeah channel so let me know what i did wrong in the comment section 
It's one thing to tell someone how to do something and be rude about it and be nice about it. So just mindful of your comment, you know, on how you suggest things to people in a nicer way. You know what I mean? And here, I place too much glue. You know, sometimes when you, when you, um, trying to put a glue on a dumb cat, a lot just came out unexpectedly <laughs> so yeah so it's all right so I am aware of that so just in case but I love this wig I love it I love it so yeah I'm just praying the um the pump it up on there and yeah Again, I do spray yeah. my pump it up on there oh, so every I single time that I do that I do my um my wig on each line. That's how I do mine. So I am very aware of what I'm doing. Yes. So I hope this helps someone that's trying to glow in you can always slow down this um you know process and just you know and just go step by step from what i'm doing so i try not to edit as much and go too fast as much as possible but you know i did the best that i could I'm pretty sure someone is going to learn from this one because it, it ain't that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. This is the reason why I created this channel. I'm not perfect and I'm not looking for any perfection on this channel. I'm just trying to be better, not perfect. So, yeah. Did y'all see my hands? Oh my god, got glue all over y'all. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this wig making. And I couldn't um, put on the wig at the end of this video because I wasn't dressed. As you guys can see, I had on my PJs on. So that girl wasn't ready to be all, you know can't put it up in all of that and it was a Sunday that I did this wig so I didn't feel like getting dressed or anything I just want to be comfy you know but sometimes you're trying to hide from the camera but it got me showing my pajamas and all yeah do y'all see the hands <laughs> yes y'all but it's all good though at the end I loved it. I loved it, okay? So, it's a beautiful wig. And so now I'm trying to close the top of this wig, as you can see. You know, so I'm trying as best. As I could. I didn't have any help, y'all. I think I did the damn job. I didn't have no help in it, cutting it, putting it, pasting it, whichever way you guys call it. But I think I did a great job for doing all of this, okay? By myself. No assistance, you know? And them T pins, they helped a lot. If you were by yourself, <laughs> that's your helper right there so that was my helper you know so yeah i love the guys yes i'm trying to position the wig for you guys to see how the curls yes look at that the curls i'm loving it okay guys yes
so now I got that little space right there to cover up so I'm gonna be gluing down that way coming down to the left and then coming down to the right but now I'm just gonna put that piece right there to try to cover up the back before I start doing the sides You see that T pin right there? I'm telling y'all, that's my helper. I'm putting it right there at the beginning of the uh, weft so that it won't lift at all, even though I have the 30 seconds um, glue. But I needed that T pin right there to hold. And it did a damn job, y'all. Yes. Yes, yes, y'all, yes. Go ahead, free town lady. Go ahead and knock that um that wig on. Huh? And this is the last bundle I'm trying to cover up any demarcation that you may see. So yeah. So I'm just like I said earlier, I'm gonna do the sides and try to cover everything. And I think I got a piece left after all after I made this wig. So yeah. You see that scale right there? Yes. Yes. Put the tip pin into the um the weft and just press the rest of the hair down. And then press the tip of the um weft to lay down. Or the track. Let me say track. A lot of people might not understand what a weft is. Okay, so like you see, I'm almost done this wig, and when I say it's beautiful, y'all, yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. For fifteen ninety nine, you cannot beat that. Most of the time, I like to make wigs. I like to do my own hair and show my natural hair sometimes. But I think when you make a wig out of a hair, it lasted, it lasted you longer than when you put it on your hair. Then you take them off and then you try to reuse it again. It's not the same texture that you will get when you put it, you know, when you first put it on. Basically, I was trying to say. Yeah, so I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done here. Let me know what you guys think. I'm so sorry you guys could not see that part. But I'm going to flip on the other side so you guys will see the other side. How I did the closure. The top of the um the hair.
Yeah, this part is what I was saying earlier to show you guys. That's the closure right there. You do not want to glue on top of that closure, but you can glue around it like you guys see me do. Like you guys see me doing right now. Okay. Just watch. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute or two to see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna cut that piece right there. And this is our wig, y'all. Our beautiful wig. Did y'all see the curls? Yes. So I didn't put any um powder on this wig or anything like that so when I'm ready to actually style this wig I will definitely show you all how I do mine so I will I will let you guys know how I put my my foundation from the inside of the wig instead of the outside but did y'all see the curls though did y'all see the curls on this wig beautiful Be beautiful for less than twenty dollars you got a wig made it's gonna last you for months yes for months so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, guys. And you guys enjoy while I play with this wig, okay? It's a little tangle right there with the glue. You know the struggle. Yes. Yeah, so now I took the cap off, and this is how the wig is looking from the inside. I think it looks so beautiful, y'all. Yes. And then I'm showing you guys how to cut the extra the part of the um, dome cap that you don't need. Okay, so I'm going to take the scissors now and just cut the part where I actually glue where I didn't glue basically yeah that's the extra dumb cap you don't need okay 
So cut that extra dumb cap and just trash it. Or you might keep it for something else, which I always do. That is it, y'all. What do you guys think? I did not put anything on this hair. It is what it is right now. I never touched it. Never did anything to it. Nothing to it. Yep. That is it. Yeah. What do y'all think? It's flat, even though it's a little bit kind of crooked. But you won't tell now, though. Like I said earlier, you know, you won't even know. When I was putting it on a mannequin at first, yeah. So, yes, guys. This is it for this video, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Do y'all like my mannequin face? <laughs> ugly right <laughs> with them glue <laughs> yes guys so thank you guys for watching